Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Time again for our weekly weather picture. This was sent in by Cole Kelman over in Brazil. Beautiful picture. Check that out. If you go to mywabashvalley.com, click on the weather tab, it'll pull down. You can submit your picture, and once a week, we'll highlight one of those in our early and evening shows. But a beautiful picture there from Brazil. Liking that one for sure. Off to the tropics we go. Of course, we all are now aware of the damage that happened with Helene. We had Isaac, which developed over the weekend. Joyce out here, and down here is Kirk. So after Helene, we have three more systems developed. None of those, though, pose any threat to the U.S. mainland for the time being. I want to take a look back at September, which we wrap up tonight. Warmer than normal, and at least here at the TV station, even with the rain last week, drier than normal. So it was warmer than normal and drier than normal across much of the valley, even with some rain. Remember, we went through that long dry period in the middle of the month. 76 and 67, that was a high and the low for today. No rain today at the TV station, but for the month, again, we're running a uh, deficit there of about one inch, pretty close to one inch. Here's what it looks like with the Wabash River Tarot. Terre Haute. It's about three and a half feet and it is currently stationary. So this is what we're looking at for you over the next few days. First of all, the sun is going to be coming back. We'll get some of that tomorrow. Cold front tomorrow. Now that's going to drop the humidity levels down, meaning dry air is really going to move in. Chilly tomorrow night and early Thursday morning or Tuesday morning, and it is going to stay dry. We think this dry pattern is here again for a while. Cycle cast for 7 p.m. this evening. A lot of cloud cover still. 74 degrees out there. And here's the joint overnight forecast. Water tower forecast for Christmas. Still a fair amount of cloud cover. 61 will be the low. Temperatures right now are pretty much in the 70s. We've been there all afternoon. Right there. That's our next weather maker. See that? And it's going to swing a cold front into the area tomorrow. Limited moisture, though, so it's not going to do much as far as any rain. You can see the leftover of our system is moving away from here. We've got some clouds, a couple little showers showing up in our far southeastern counties. You look way down here. You see a couple little showers, but that's about it. Those will be moving out. I did want to talk about this, though. With some breaks in the clouds tonight, we may end up with some fog. we got one of the models that can forecast that. So see this about 7 in the morning. Some areas may be down to a couple miles of visibility, so watch out for a little fog. It should improve rapidly though tomorrow, but we may end up with a little fog in places overnight tonight. And watch these dew points. Tomorrow when the cold front approaches the area, see this dew points say in the, say the Terre Haute area 62, but look how they drop as we head into Wednesday. That's much, much drier air moving in with that drier air. We're going to see a change in the temperatures. I want to show you this, though. Longer term, this is October 8 to 14, warmer than normal. But look at this. Much of the country continues to be drier than normal, it looks like, as we enter into the month of October. Forecast for tonight, then. A lot of cloud cover, but the clouds break some. Watch for some areas of fog developing. 61 for the low. During the day tomorrow, we'll be looking for temperatures to be, once again, about where they were today into the 70s, 77. Still a fair amount of cloud cover around, but I think some breaks as the day goes on. After that, lots of sunshine and temperatures will be running pretty much in the 70s, even some low 80s in there for Friday into Saturday.